Hi guys, my name is Bas and welcome to episode 22 of my RStudio tutorials here on YouTube. So today we're going to have another look at multiple linear regression and another look at in specifically uh, mediation. So we're using the data set called mediator in which the independent variable is job and the dependent variable is income. So if your job increases, then your income increases. And in episode 19, we determined that uh, the salary is a mediator for this variable. So if your job increases, your salary increases. And because your salary increases, your income increases. And if you would put that into a model, then it would look something like this. So job goes to income directly and job goes to salary and salary goes to income. And uh, in uh, last episode, episode 21, we determined via the Baron and Kenny method that the effects of all the uh, indirect effects and the new direct effect, if you combine those, is the same as the old direct effect from job to income. So you don't lose any strength if you use a mediator. And what we want to uh, calculate today is whether this mediation, so job to salary and salary to income, is actually a significant mediation. And if you want to do that, you gotta use the, uh, you gotta use the Sobel test. So you go to the, your Chrome browser or Firefox or whatever you're using, and you search for Sobel test calculator, and then the first, uh, first link you press. And then if you go down, then you'll see over here two ways to calculate the Sobel test. But the lowest one is the easiest because you just need two values. You need the t-value for A and the t-value for B. And in our model, I've shown you guys how you can, uh, which model, which arrow is which. So job to the mediator is the A arrow and job, uh, and salary to income is the B, uh, is the B, uh, uh, arrow. So we need to calculate the t test, uh, the t value for this arrow and the t value for this arrow. And we're going to do that in R. Okay, so we're going to start off by, we don't need to install any packages this time, but we're going to make two objects. One object for regression model number one and one object for regression model number two. So the first is going to be called A because it's the A arrow. And A is going to consist of the linear model of the dependent variable, which in this case, the dependent variable, if we look at the model, is salary for the A arrow. So mediator, well, the data set is called mediator and then dollar sign uh, salary is going to be the dependent variable and the independent variable in this case is mediator and then dollar sign and job and then a comma and then the data is the mediator data set again and then you press the uh, then, uh, then you want the summary uh, then you press control enter and then you want a summary, so summary of A, and then you press Control Enter. And then in the bottom, in the console screen, you can see at the coefficients table that the a job to salary slope has a t-value of 5.78. So that is the t-value from arrow A we're looking for. So from job to salary has a t-value of 5.78. So we fill that into our uh, 5.78. We fill that in. Now we need the T value of the B arrow. And the B arrow was salary to income, but also taking job to income into account. So what we're going to do is a multiple linear regression with job to income and salary to income, and then take a look at the T value of this specific arrow. So we're going to go to R. We're going to create a new uh, we're going to create a new object called B and it's going to consist of the linear model and then mediator data set and then uh, dollar sign income is in this case the, uh, the, the dependent variable. The independent variable is this time two independent variables. The first one is going to be mediator dollar sign job plus mediator dollar sign uh, salary and then a comma, and then the data is the mediator data set. Then you press Ctrl Enter, and you've made this new object, and then we want the summary of this 
object. You press Ctrl Enter. And then if we look in the console screen at the bottom, at the coefficients table, you can see that the slope from salary to income has a T value of 4.167. So the B arrow from the mediator salary to the dependent variable uh, income has a T value of 4.167. So you just fill that in 4.167 and then you press calculate. And then you will see that the test statistic of the Sobel test is 3.38. And in other terms, you can look at the p-value, which is 0 0.0001. Uh, so we can determine that, yes, this is lower than the alpha of 0.05. And therefore, the Sobel test is significant. So therefore, we can conclude that, yes, this mediation from job to income via salary is a significant mediation. Okay, so that was the Sobel test for today. I hope that this was helpful to you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to ask it in the comment section down below. If this video was helpful, then please leave a like on this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And for now, guys, I'll see you on the next episode. Ciao.